It's Casey and welcome back to Vlogmas. So today's video is super exciting because it is a, one of my favorite holiday traditions and that is drinking and making coquito, but mainly the drinking part. <laughs> if you guys don't know what coquito is, it is a Puerto Rican holiday drink. And if you didn't know, I am Puerto Rican. My mom, entire side of the family is from Puerto Rico. So like my grandma, my great grandma. So I, I am half Puerto Rican and coquito has always been something that I've known since I was a little girl. When I was little, obviously I had to drink the version one. And when my mom was like, yeah, you could drink a little bit of alcohol in the house, she would let me <laughs> drink the real deal about maybe three years ago four years ago my mom taught me how to make coquito myself and it's like super easy so I'm coming on here to share with you how to make coquito because I know a lot of people love it it's not something that you could just like buy in stores you know what I'm saying a lot of people sell it but if you're interested in learning how to do it yourself all you got to do is keep watching so this is obviously a very different setup for me you guys are seeing my kitchen it's a little bit of a mess I got some shrimp defrosting you know whatever you just gonna ignore that don't be my business okay so let's go ahead and get started on how to make coquito so here are all the ingredients for coquito you need evaporated milk condensed milk and I have an unhealthy obsession with condensed milk it's like I used to put it on my cereal and I like stick my spoon in it and eat like a spoonful really really bad for you but I just love how sweet it is you need some cream of coconut you also need coconut milk for your like seasonings you need some nutmeg as well as some cinnamon you need some cinnamon sticks for your actual bottle and of course the alcohol now coquito tends to have rum in it so we use Bacardi gold but a lot of people make Hennessy coquito so I mean you can kind of just do what you want you need something to store it in and over where you guys can't see I just have my blender now I've seen like tutorials online like recipes um, that people use something a little bit of difference but this is how I do it this is the way that I was taught by my mom and to me it tastes amazing now if you're wondering like what does coquito taste like it's basically like a Puerto Rican eggnog but to me it tastes like melted vanilla ice cream with alcohol in my opinion that's what it tastes like I've never actually met someone who doesn't like coquito unless they were like lactose intolerant or something like that but there are vegan coquito recipes out there so please let me know if you want me to make a vegan version because I know a lot of like the stuff that I cook on here is like dairy free or whatever I mean when you guys do see me cook which is very rare I feel like vlogmas has introduced like me cooking a little bit but if you want me to make a vegan version please let me know I will be happy to do it so there's no specific order of dumping this stuff in here what you basically want to do is just take everything all your ingredients put it in the blender blend it up and that's it if you don't have a blender I used to just do it in a really large mixing bowl and just mixed it all together and that was it and just stored it that worked great I do want to say coquito is best to very very cold so you want to store it in the fridge once you're done but let's just go ahead and get started on making it I'm really excited I'm excited because I get to drink it and I live by myself so I get to drink it all but I'm definitely going to have more than enough and I'm probably gonna share with my sister and Dominique somebody broke my can opener so I have to use this one which is like really really cheap the first thing that I'm actually going to do is I am going to take the cinnamon sticks that I have here and I'm just going to dump them right in so you want to have some cinnamon sticks inside of your like container that's really going to just soak up in the coquito and give you that holiday feel like tasting all that cinnamon you know what I mean so I'm just going to place this to the side while we do this first thing I'm gonna go ahead and open up is the coconut milk oh man, this can opener is so hard <sighs> okay so if anybody just wants to get me like an electric can opener I would greatly appreciate it send me a DM <laughs> can I put that on my Christmas list I'm such an adult because all the holiday stuff that I want is like things to make my life easier and an electric can opener would be great to be honest I hate the way 
coconut milk looks when you like put it in because it's like chunky and weird so now that we have the coconut milk in the blender we're gonna go ahead and open this cream of coconut now it looks really chunky but that's how it's supposed to look don't be alarmed if you've never used cream of coconut before I'm gonna use this knife to go ahead and force this bad boy out this is the evaporated milk and last but not least as far as the cans are concerned we are doing the condensed milk oh my gosh so yummy the way i love condensed milk you guys just don't even understand it's so good to me it's so good yes make it sweet let's do this i love this for me okay now it's time for the seasonings Honestly, guys, I don't know how to measure anything. I don't measure stuff. I just wing it. I just wing it all. <laughs> just whatever just feels good. Whatever my heart tells me to stop is when I stop. This is the ground nutmeg. And now, time to get drunk. Time to get drunk. Time to get drunk. If you're wondering why this is like this, is that's because i already made coquito okay don't be judging me just a splash <laughs> i'm gonna just start with that because last time i felt like it was just too strong for me like i couldn't even enjoy it i'm just start with that see how i feel about that and then if i want to add more alcohol then i'm add more alcohol so i'm just gonna go ahead and start stirring this up Okay, let's go ahead and do a little taste test. See what this is tasting like. It's really good. I do feel like we could do a little bit more alcohol though. I could taste the alcohol, but we could just do like a little more. This is a big thing, okay? No judgment, please. Okay, I feel like that's gonna be good. It's gonna be like it's hitting, but it's not it's not too crazy. I rinsed off my spoon, I cleaned it. Don't be trying to come for me. I'm gonna go ahead and try this again. See how we feel now. I think it's perfect. It's perfect. I can taste the alcohol for sure, but I know that I can actually sit here and drink this. So we're gonna go ahead and pour our coquito into our little little thing here. Ooh, 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 ooh. I spilled some. It's okay. It's okay. No big deal. I do have another container that I'm gonna put this in. The only downside is I don't have more um, cinnamon sticks, but it's fine. We just gonna have to make it do what it do. You know what I mean? So this is the finished product. Obviously, there's no cinnamon sticks in this one because I don't have any more. But it's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the refrigerator. And that is it, guys. Like, that is all that it takes to make coquito. Just put it in the refrigerator, let it get really cold. And that's all you got to do. This is perfect if you are going to, like, a holiday party or something and you want to make sure you bring something. Coquito is perfect perfect for that everyone loves coquito it's really good if you're interested in just making it for yourself or whatever the case might be i love it it's amazing it's super easy to do i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was informative please go ahead and make you some coquito if you ain't never make some before you're gonna be lit it's gonna be good okay i am not responsible for any of the negative decisions that you make if you start texting your ex because of the coquito that's not my fault that's not my fault, okay? Thank you guys so much for supporting Vlogmas and watching all of the videos. It's been really, really fun to do. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!